Hello, everybody. Welcome to Popcorn Planet. I'm Andy Signor, and I'm here to review the film Downhill, starring Will Ferrell and Julia Louis-Dreyfus. Now, look, this uh, is not the comedy you'd expect from those two. Uh, it's actually a remake of a Swedish film called Force Majeure, uh, and I haven't seen it, so that's got to be said before I get to this review. Uh, the film, from what I can tell, uh, based off people who now are telling me that this is much better, Force Majeure, I, I can't relate it, so I haven't seen it. Uh, it's on Hulu, so you can watch the original Swedish film from Ruben Ostlund uh, first, if you like, um, but it looks like it's copies a lot of similar beat for beat moments that I didn't realize was that close in setting. Uh, but this film, uh, if you haven't seen it, uh, look, I liked it. I like this version. Uh, um, granted I made like the original better and I am going to watch it. So I, that's why I wanted to give you that information so you can make the choice yourself. Uh, but this is a remake of a popular sort of dark comedy, Swedish film. Uh, and, uh, it's uncomfortable at times. It's definitely not for everybody, uh, but a different kind of disaster movie is definitely the way to phrase it. Uh, it it's coming out this Valentine's Day weekend, and that's a weird choice. It's, I don't know if it's a great Valentine's Day movie, uh, but it is a good movie. Uh, the film for me connected just because, uh, look, when you're a parent, you have kids, you've been married a long time. I, I've been in the, that situation. Sometimes you just get selfishly stuck in not being present. Uh, and that's what this film is. And it takes it to the highest degree of just a frustrating uh, version where both characters really have their faults, but Will Ferrell is portraying this husband who just sort of clearly doesn't want to be there. Um, and just jealous of his friend's life uh, and just everything. Look, looking on Instagram to sort of see thinking that life could be better uh, sort of frustrated with his own kids at times while always loving them, just sort of, uh, having this, this, these contemplating life in a way that's just dark and stuff people do have and think sometimes and don't want to admit. Um, and then his wife, Julie louis Jeff is there, and they're clearly trying to attempt to help their marriage by going on this family trip to get off their phones and do, uh, you know, be out there in the world. Uh, and for some reason, he just can't fully commit. Um, and... Uh, things come to a head when a seemingly, uh, it's in the trailers and it's sort of the, the real point of both films, uh, while this couple is clearly just trying to find their way and they love each other and they're a family, uh, it's clear they both feel stuck. And Julia Louis-Dreyfus clearly uh, focused on being a mom um, and they've lost their way. Then this moment happens where an avalanche sort of ha seemingly is, a uh, controlled avalanche they call it, but seemingly is actually about to wipe them out based off this little... Uh, place they're sitting in the cabin uh, in the alps um they're going on the alps they go to the alps for a skiing trip for their family to sort of re to bring the family together but they're sitting on this little uh cafe little area outside they're watching as the snow's coming and it looks terrifying like the snow's about to engulf all of them and they're all going to die uh, and in this moment uh will ferrell's reaction is to grab his phone and run away uh, and then meanwhile, Julia Louis-Dreyfus there is there hugging her children, trying to think they're going to die. Uh, and then it turns out they don't die. Uh, but the sight of their father running away uh, is hard to back to, to live down. <laughs> and then it just sort of uh, puts Julia Dreyfus in this mode of what am I doing? What is this? You don't want to be here. You don't even want us. Uh, it sounds depressing and it is, uh, but they handle it in these very, in this sort of awkward uncomfortably funny black comedy sort of way. Um, and there's an amazing scene. Uh, they, they show it in the trailers, well, but the, Julia Dreyfus gives a fantastic performance. It, it seems like she's playing sort of the same beats that I've seen her do, but then midway through when she confronts him uh, in, in front of these, these friends, it's a very funny, dark comedy scene, but she gives us just dramatic, like really touching uh, performance. Uh, calling him out for what he did because he doesn't seem to want to face it. Uh, and that's really the tone of this movie. So like I said, it's not for everybody. Uh, I, I'm sort of giving you a little bit more of the plot because I want you to go in expecting, like, this is a heavy uh, movie for married couples who can handle this sort of drama take, but still, I laughed several times because I just found it, I, I found the dark comedy to be pretty hilarious, but then also very poignant at times. Um, but that's what you're in for. This isn't like a Will Ferrell comedy by any means. Will Ferrell's playing a bit of a jerk. Um, and it's interesting casting because he's so likable. I like Will Ferrell a lot, uh, but it's hard to like this character. But 
Will Ferrell's trying his best to do sort of a little bit of a dramatic turn, um, but he's still relying on that likability that's hard to, to avoid with Will Ferrell, that it makes you not hate him as much as probably I may have if another actor had done it. Uh, but it's a... Uh, it's a tough role to play that I think he does pretty good in. Julie, Ray, Julie Louis Dreyfus is to me is the standout in this movie and really made me like it even more. Uh, but the film then just sort of has all these sort of situations, scenarios, and uh, what happens then? And then she goes off on her own solo day to sort of find herself. Uh, and it, look, that's the pitch. If it doesn't sound your style, don't waste your time. Or maybe check out the sweetest version on Hulu, which I hear is a little even darker, funnier uh, version uh, that I've seen some people, uh, and I, when I saw the screen, like, why do we need this? Why we had this movie? Why do another one? Uh, it's it's interesting because it's made by uh, uh, Nat Faxon and Jim Rash, who I'm big fans of. They did the Way Way Back, uh, and they wrote The Descendants. Uh, I like their style. Uh, Jim Rash, you may remember uh, for, as Dean uh, from Community. Uh, Nat Faxon's been on some TV shows as well. But I think they're talented writers. They won an Oscar for Descendants. Uh, I like their style of humor. They're they're it's they're dramedy writers, but done in a heavy but dark comedic way that I'm a fan of the tone and that's the tone that felt here uh my buddy EJ did it he, he was saying that it felt more modern family-esque I didn't get that vibe uh I have kids I've been there I've been in a marriage I'm now divorced uh there's there's just you know relatability to certain aspects of it and, and just faults of my own um that I it, it did hit me a little bit more and I think if you're in a situation like that where you've been in a marriage or you've really challenge yourself to be more present, which I do now in my, in my life. Uh, if you feel like you're always sort of on your phone around your family, uh, which I think happens to more of us than we want to admit, uh, this film can hope help hopefully open your eyes to see sort of what not to do and what not to become is sort of why I enjoyed the film and took away a positive review from it because yeah, I, am, I saw some parts of my old self that I didn't like. At the same time, I saw it as sort of a wake-up call to like make sure you don't just we, – we get so enamored by this device that sometimes we get so, uh, you know, obsessed about working on work and things that we need to do to, to excel. We aren't actually being present in the life that we're trying to support. Uh, and it's important to make time to do it. And so I, I, I really connected and liked the film in that way because I feel like it sort of opens up uh, an eye to that sort of world that I think a lot of couples need to hear uh, to make sure you make time for one another. And in that way, it's a very nice Valentine's Day film uh, because it's going to make you want to go spend time with your significant other and just make sure you're, you're present with them. Uh, that's something that I think is the most romantic thing you can give that I've learned, even especially recently, just be there and take, don't bring your phone to the date and just talk to each other and listen um, and want to be there and be happy. Those are the things that I, that are important and the things that you sort of take away from watching this movie. And the fact that I was able to connect all that and find all that made me like the film more. It makes me want to see the original film again, because I, I, I've been told and everything I looked up, I didn't have time to watch it before this review and I wish I had, uh, but everything I've told is it's even better. So I, I'm looking forward to seeing that film. Uh, again, you can see that one Hulu first if you want, um, or go check it out this weekend. Look, I love Will Ferrell. I like uh, um, Julie Louis Dreyfus. Uh, there's uh, uh, Zach. Uh, what's his name from uh, Silicon Valley? Isn't it as well? He's very. He does. He has a really nice uh, supporting turn. Um, I can't remember his name. Zach uh, Woods. He was also in The Office. Um, he has a fun turn. Uh, and Miranda Otto uh, plays this uh, <laughs> Swiss uh, concierge who is very adventurous uh, and is a really funny, uh, surprising turn, good turn for Miranda Otto. Um, again, overall, like the film, but definitely uh, definitely a polarizing film. And ever, I, I heard people leaving the screening saying, oh my God, what a waste of time. That was just a downer. Uh, it's going to either connect with you, it's either going to click with you, or it's not. Uh, so keep that in mind before you go downhill to see Downhill this weekend for Valentine's Day. Uh, Sonic the Hedgehog also opened up. I like that one, but not as romantic, but cute, better for the families. Uh, but uh, interesting choice. Uh, and Fantasy Island didn't screen for us critics. So those are your choices this Valentine's Day weekend. Uh, if you like a more mature, dark comedy and you like to be challenged, and uh, if you've ever been in that sort of relationship uh, or really tackled this idea of 
am I present enough all you know as often as I need to be? Uh, those are the themes I would look forward to. If you look at if you like those themes, definitely check out Downhill. Um, if not, maybe wait for it to hit on uh, video or like I said, watch the original on Hulu because I hear that's even better. Uh, I'm gonna check it out and I'll do a little tweet or something later to to let you know. Uh, so follow me over on social media at Andy Signor, Twitter, Instagram, all that stuff. Uh, I like the film. I look forward to seeing what Nat Faxton and Jim Rash do next. I think they're very talented writers. Uh, they they do sort of uncomfortable scenarios as well, uh, relatable scenarios with uh, you know extreme versions of relatable scenarios uh, that again become more of warning stories than anything else. Uh, so that's my take. Uh, I liked it. I will uh, be back with more content all throughout this weekend and next week. So be sure to hit that subscribe button, like, comment, all that jazz as much as you can. Thank you so much, everybody, for your support, and have an awesome weekend. Bye.